Republican Senator Mitt Romney has a plan to get Donald Trump out of the 2024 presidential race, possibly out of politics altogether. And he laid out his plan this week in an op-ed in the wall street journal. And Mitt Romney's plan is very simple. He says that the plan is for the donors, the Republican donors out there. When you start to see your candidates slip, right? When their polls are going down, 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 what you do donors is you stop giving them money, right? Then that'll basically bankrupt their campaigns. They'll be forced to drop out. And once we get pretty much everybody to drop out, it's just Donald Trump versus one or two people. Boom, bang, boom. Trump loses. Ha. That is, that is Mitt Romney's brilliant plan <laughs> to take down Donald Trump. Now it's no secret, obviously that a crowded field is going to help Donald Trump in the Republican primary because Donald Trump is going to get his MAGA voters, right? They're not going to defer from him. So he's got that base locked up. Now you take the rest of the Republicans, you know, the normal ones we'll call them, even though, you know, there's nothing normal about them, but the normal Republicans, their votes are going to be split between what? 10 other people. Well, diluting that vote between 10 people is definitely going to benefit Donald Trump. So that is why Mitt Romney says, if we can get these other guys to drop out, of course, then it's a more level playing field. You know, one-on-one -on -one is better than 10 people sharing 50% of the votes versus one guy. <sighs> Mitt Romney's plan is also very stupid because Mitt Romney doesn't say that donors need to do it now, right? If you were really serious about this, you would be telling the donors you have to do it now, but instead he is, he's given them the date no later than say February 26th, the Monday following the contest in Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, and South Carolina. <laughs> so you have to August, to September, to October, to November, to December, to January, to February, you got seven months where these other Republican candidates are going to be beating each other up. Trump's going to be beating them up. They're going to be wasting money. And then at February 26th, like that's when the donors have to be like, okay, enough is enough. I'm not going to give you any more money. Seven months from today is the cutoff date for Mitt Romney. Um, that's dumb as hell, Mitt. <laughs> the cutoff date should be immediately following the first Republican presidential primary debate, which is coming up in mid August. Because at that point, when we see these people on the stage, we're going to know who's real and who's pretending. We're going to know who has potential and who's going to fall flat and not win a single state in the contest. Not to mention the fact that the date you have set, as you said yourself in your op-ed is several days after the first four Republican contests. Well, according to the latest round of polling out this week, Trump's already winning in all four of those states by double digits. So you're wanting these donors to stop giving money to the losers after Donald Trump has wiped the floor with them in the first four contests. Once the voters see that happen, yes, they're going to abandon the other people and they're all going to fall in line. That's how primaries work. That's why the parties like to space it out so they can have somebody gain momentum instead of everybody voting on the same day and no state being influenced by states who voted before them. Yes, to a degree, it is a rigged system on both the left and the right. If they wanted it to be a fair system, primary day would be one single day, all 50 states, one time, one day, results come in, then you have your nominee. They stagger it like this so that each state can be influenced by the state before it. That's what happens. But because of that, Mitt, you're going to allow Donald Trump because of your arbitrarily stupid deadline here to have all of that momentum going in. The states that come after are going to look at that and be like, well, Trump's not beatable. May as well vote for him. Your timeline is stupid. Your plan could work, but you've made it dumb. <laughs> I mean, look at what's happening with certain Republican candidates right now who have done nothing but lose points in polls since they announced their candidacy. Ron DeSantis, I am looking squarely at you. Your popularity is going down. Your donors are already fleeing. And I think those donors should take Mitt Romney's advice right now and say, screw it, dude, you suck. 
you're two months into this. You're already having to reboot your campaign. We're done with you. Tim Scott is surging. Nikki Haley is doing better. Mike Pence and Chris Christie are stagnant. So those folks under Mitt Romney's plan need to stop getting money. Republican donors need to be looking more at Tim Scott, which they are though. They're leaving Ron DeSantis, moving to Tim Scott, according to reports and Nikki Haley, not doing bad, not doing great, but she's still in this race. So you knock it down to two against one. Suddenly Mitt Romney's plan could work. But if you wait to implement this plan seven months down the road, as Mitt Romney suggests, all you're going to do is allow these donors to waste millions of dollars on these other candidates. And you're still going to be stuck with Trump anyway. So thanks for trying Mitt. Still a stupid plan. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.